Holly Willoughby will take front stage on this morning when she returns in September, after ITV executives opted against making a high-profile hire to take Philip Schofield's position. The Daily Mail can reveal that instead of hiring a bigger star from a competing program or channel as they try to restore the program's glory days after a recent scandal, the star will have rotating co-hosts when she hosts the Unthreat show from Monday to Thursday. Josie Gibson and Craig Doyle will predominate, according to insiders at this morning, while Holly, 42, may occasionally be joined by Dermot O'Leary and Alison Hammond, who presently anchor on Fridays and major holidays. Because Alison, 48, is too busy to commit to working for days on the daytime program, Holly's goal of being partnered with her is dashed, according to sources. Holly, who is now on a family vacation in the Algarve, will soon sign a new contract that will be even more lucrative than her existing £700,000 arrangement. ITV insiders claim that this strategy will prevent a fallout between two primary anchors like she did with Philip in addition to making her queen bee. The concept of finding the next Phil to sit next to Holly has been dismissed by this morning's management, an ITV source claimed. It will be Holly and whichever else is chosen to join her as a rotating presenter. Holly's programme will be the main focus. The show's producers are hoping to get past the Schofield issue in order to focus more on the programme's substance than the two people who are now hosting it. At least there won't be any falling out this way. Holly, who adores Josie, Craig, Alison and Dermot, is quite enthusiastic about the idea. She took the decision to stay on board the joyful ship rather than leave in order to steer it forward. Holly is steadfastly committed to leading the charge to turn the program around. According to ITV sources, the presenting lineup is comparable to Good Morning Britain after Piers Morgan left two years ago. The show's main anchor, Susanna Reid is accompanied by a rotating cast of Richard Madeley, Ed Balls, and Martin Lewis from Monday through Wednesday. The rest of the week, others like Ben Shepherd, Kate Garraway, and Ranver Singh take over. Following Philip's revelation that he had been having an affair with a much younger colleague, and then lying about it, the Mail on Sunday reported yesterday that Holly will return to this morning to rescue it. According to The Sun, Holly has made the decision to take an extended leave of absence until the fall in response to Philip's controversy two months ago. Dermot O'Leary and Alison Hammond, her co-stars, have stepped in to fill in for Kate from Monday through Friday. Holly, a Monday through Thursday employee, usually works a five-day workweek, the last week before her summer vacation. Before their six-week summer hiatus, Holly and Philip used to sign off the programme and say farewell to the audience. Instead of disclosing her planned vacation, the actress instead signed out with her customary CU, by statement to the audience. As a result of his admission that he had an unwise but not illegal connection with a considerably younger male colleague on this morning, Philip resigned from ITV.
The owners of Holly's company Wild Moon talked about the first supermoon of 2023 and how it may bring clarity to intense emotions in an Instagram post that was published earlier this month. This morning's full buck moon marks the year 2023's first supermoon, it said. You are encouraged to unite all of your ideas and emotions as the moon in Capricorn opposes the sun in Cancer. This alignment implies that strong feelings could bring about clarity and make clear the steps you need to take to proceed. Listen, take in, and love. The July full moon is known as the buck moon because it is the time of year when male deer, also known as bucks, are growing their antlers to the fullest and most spectacular. It's a period when bucks grow new antlers that get bigger and more spectacular with each passing year as they shed their old ones. Since Philip's departure, this morning has been dogged by accusations of toxicity, including those made by Dia. Ranch Singh, a former resident physician on the program who complained about bullying and discrimination and later felt that he was managed out for speaking out. Dia. Ranj, who is currently the resident physician on BBC Morning Live, said he thought long and hard before commenting on the ITV issue, but he ultimately chose to do so in light of recent events. In a lengthy Instagram post, he stated, I worked on the show for 10 years and truly enjoyed and valued it. But as time went on, I began to worry more and more about what was going on behind the scenes and how people, including myself, were being handled. I was unaware of the full extent of Philip's problems, but I am aware that there are many other problems with TM. A culture cannot be created by one person alone. The television doctor acknowledged that after complaining to ITV about the actions of editors and senior producers, his screen time decreased. My job is to look after people's well-being, and I had been heavily involved in diversity, anti-bullying, and mental health projects across the channel, so I did what I thought was right. And, as ITV confirmed last night, I raised my concerns with Emma Gormley. I then found myself being used less and less, the doctor wrote online. He continued by saying he had felt managed out and attacked the show's environment as toxic. I even voiced my concerns to ITV's highest management. The culture at this morning has devolved into toxicity and is no longer consistent with ITV values. I felt managed out because I whistle blue. But as history and experience have shown us, it may be very difficult to establish acts of bullying and discrimination, especially in the afterlife and when the people in power are in charge of the narrative. No evaluation of investigation is perfect, as we have seen, I was however given the assurance that a number of issues will be handled and changed. I stopped working on the program after that, and I am not the only one who has expressed their concerns or had comparable experiences. It follows the revelation in the Mail on Sunday that a senior manager on Loose Women emailed ITV's top executives to express serious concerns about the well-being of the young guy who had an affair with Philip. Last month, ITV executives told MPs that they were not aware of any worries regarding the production assistant who co-worked with Philip on this morning when they were dating. 
The managing director for entertainment, Kevin Ligo, is said to have been aware of an email that expressed concerns about the man's well-being, according to insiders within the channel, according to the Mail on Sunday. ITV has a responsibility of care to him as a vulnerable employee, the email said. Mr. Ligo has no recall of it, according to those close to him. There was no formally initiated investigation. At a common select committee meeting where Mr. Ligo and Dame Carolyn McCall, the CEO of ITV, were questioned about the controversy last month, there was no mention of this letter. Veteran TV host Philip said in a shocking interview with the Daily Mail in May that he and the man started off as more than just buddies. This, according to the former TV host, is unwise but not illegal. Additionally, Philip admitted to lying to his management company, YMU, his friends, his co-workers, and his employer. ITV. Additionally, he misled the Mail on Sunday, a sister publication of the Daily Mail, which was the first to exclusively report on his connection with the younger guy earlier this month. I am making this statement via the Daily Mail, to whom I have previously apologised personally for deceiving, through my lawyer who I also misled, about an article sick that they planned to write about me a few days ago, Philip stated in his grovelling apologies, adding that he had already apologised to them personally. First and foremost, I want to express my sincere apologies for lying to them and to many others about a connection I had with a staff member of this morning. At this morning, I did have a mutually agreeable on and off relationship with a younger male co-worker, contrary to popular belief, although I was requested to assist the guy in getting into television when we first met as teenagers, it wasn't until he began working on the programme that our relationship developed into something more. Although it was imprudent, the connection was legal. It is now finished. I am acutely aware that I have lied to my ITV bosses, my co-workers, friends, agents, the media, the general public, and most importantly me family. I am very sorry for cheating on my wife, and I am truly sorry. ITV has my utmost thanks for the incredible opportunity they have provided me with by accepting my resignation with immediate effect. I will think back on my incredibly poor judgment in engaging in the relationship and then lying about it. Following his abrupt resignation from the This Morning Couch earlier this month, weeks of increasingly hysterical speculation about Philip's professional future in the TV business and around the country came to an end with Philip's stunning announcement. The prime time show he was purportedly given by the network as compensation for departing this morning after more than 20 years on the programme appears to have been scrapped as a result of his departure from ITV. After admitting on this morning that he had lied about his connection with a younger guy, Philip claimed in an interview with the BBC that he thought his career was over and that he had lost everything. He said to the magazine, I have to talk about television in the past tense, which breaks my heart. What will I do with my days? I only see darkness, grief, regret, regret, and guilt in front of me. I committed a serious sin, and I repeatedly lied about it. 
following his admission to the mail about the unwise but not illegal relationship, Philip, who was also sacked by his talent agency YMU, claimed he was utterly broken and ashamed in the interview. The young man, who briefly worked as a runner on this morning, was 20, according to Philip, when they first had any sort of sexual interaction. He said to the son that although they had become friends, something occurred that simply ruined it in 2017, three years before he came out as homosexual and ended his 27-year marriage to Stephanie Lowe. After a performance, there was a consensual moment in Philip's dressing room, and it was mutual. He said that he did not have a love affair with the man and that we were friends, not boyfriends. He claimed that the sensation he was experiencing was more like mates. Excitement rather than sentiments. I was really dealing with my sexuality at that time, leading up to what happened, he continued. Only five or six amorous meetings total between the two over the course of around six months. He said that the two men only ever met at Philip's flat in South East London after he called the young man to extend an invitation for a beer. Additionally, he denied using ITV funds to pay for the man's cabs, claiming, I don't have an ITV account. There was no excuse, no one did anything wrong except for me, and I was unprofessional, one time, in a 41-year career, according to Philip. In a different interview, Philip said that his former co-host Holly, who was unaware of the affair, was rejecting his messages of apology and beseeching pardon. He expressed regret to Holly for lying to her about his relationship during a conversation with the son, saying, I've lost my best friend. I let her down, he continued. I stunk up the whole show. I disappointed the viewers. Holly didn't know, so she was one of the first people I texted to apologize for lying to her. She didn't respond, and I can see why. She didn't know either. So, sure, if someone is connecting Holly to this in any way, it is just false. Following Philip's departure from the program, Holly made a comprehensive statement regarding the incidents and greeted everyone. Happy morning. Josie Gibson, I appreciate your presence. Take a big breath now. First of all, how are you doing? Sitting here without Phil seems quite weird to put it mildly, and I assume that you could have been experiencing similar emotions to mine, including being shocked, upset, let down, concerned for the welfare of persons involved on both sides, and full of questions, you, I, and everyone else at this morning offered our love and support to someone who wasn't telling the truth and acted in such a manner that they felt they had to leave ITV and their beloved careers. There's a lot there to take in. It's also difficult to discern the impact on their own mental health. I believe that our shared goal to heal for the sake of everyone's health and welfare is what connects us all today. I'm hoping we can draw strength from one another as we embark on this new chapter and return to the cozy and magical world that this show provides for all of us. I also want to express my sincere gratitude for all of your encouraging letters. I also want to thank you for coming this morning. 
We will continue to work hard every day to bring you this program that we love, including myself, Josie Gibson, Dermot O'Leary, Alison Hammond, Craig Doyle, and every single other individual who works on the show.